Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, honey, we got Kenya and Mark still out there fussing, trying to make it do what it do. And it is a hot mess. Okay, it's a hot mess. We in Shitsville, y'all. We in Shitsville. And Kenya is ready to pull up, honey. In this new motion, Mark says Kenya took months to turn over her financial documents and failed to submit a proposed child support worksheet. Further, he claims she is refusing to answer basic questions. As a result, he is requesting Kenya to pay his legal bills associated with this with this dispute. The reality star scoffed at Mark's claim, denying that she is dragging her feet. Okay, Kenya is asking for her legal bills to be covered and the motion to be denied. In addition, the Bravo star is once again pleading for Mark's court filings to be sealed. Her lawyers previous argued Kenya is a high profile celebrity who has a vested and heightened interest in keeping her private life from becoming public. <coughs> Due to her public persona, the petitioner's life, safety, and privacy interests are generally the subject of media outlets, and as such, a judge has yet to rule. A part of the custody case, Mark tried to block Kenya for allowing Brooklyn to film with Real Housewives of Atlanta. He claims the show was inappropriate for a young child. Kenya said her role on the show was dependent on her family being allowed to film with her. The judge ending up siding with Kenya and ordering Brooklyn can shoot with the uh, show with a few exceptions in the ruling. The judge noted he, meaning not convinced, and no evidence has been shown that Kenya would place Brooklyn in any environment that might not be in the minor's child best interest or may in any way be considered dangerous or inappropriate. Okay, so that fight is still going on. All right. Oh. Uh, and that was from Radar Online, giving us those uh, cited sources. But child, <coughs> Kenya ain't standing nothing Mark is doing, honey. Uh, <laughs> Kenya is twirling on his behind. Mm-hmm. Child, she said, I need somebody who's fly as me, honey. I need somebody who's fly as me. Okay. Kenya is twirling on uh Mark and Baby Brooklyn is like, go mommy, go mommy, go mommy, go mommy. Child, that's a hot mess. <laughs> but Kenya is out here looking fine, doing what she need to do, and she ain't standing about nothing. She got her baby girl Bricky. And Bricker is like, whoa, go mommy, go mommy, you're happy, you're happy. And we got Silk Sonic to play with it too. Yes, 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 yes. Let's hurry up and get to the part we need to get to though. Okay, I'm trying to get it. For Mars, go Kenya, go Kenya. You are from the side, go Kenya, go Kenya. Fire and desire, baby. Da -da 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 -da. Them dudes make me happy with that. I deserve to be with somebody who's fly as me. Somebody who's fly. Hey, and that's what it, honey. That's right, Kenya getting on. She doing what she got to do. She's serenading. Let that serenade song be in her playlist. And every time she step out, mama is doing the darn thing. I'm like, whoo, milk does the body good. But I know she was out there doing her thing <coughs> with um dancing with the stars. And she 
trim that body into a silhouette. Yes, an hourglass. And it's no fakeness going on. It ain't no big booty Judy going on. You know, the little, the big, big, big booty and all that. Weighing down your frame. The tits sitting right. The butt sitting right. And she feels dynamite. Yes, and Bricky just going like, yo yeah, mommy, yo yeah, mommy, yo yeah, mommy. And she doing her daddy the same way because she like her daddy. But it's a shame that black men and women at times want to bring each other down when they can no longer get together. But uh, honey, can you more out there in that mint green um, little uh, a dress? I, I, you know, I call it like an uh, after nine dress, but that's a pretty, pretty summer spring dress she has on. And if she's in Atlanta taking those pictures, she must be on Peace Street. Behind that baby girl brick light. Come on, mommy. Come on, mommy. Come on, mommy. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. You my role model. Role model. Look at my mommy. Look at my mommy. Yes. And Brickie Brick is going to be a beautiful young girl inside and out as well. Because Kenya is doing that thing. I love the accessories. I love the smile. I love the confidence. She's alluding to the public. It's like, child, please ain't worried about what Mark talking about. He better get on with his business <laughs> and leave mine alone. Because Kenya says she's tired of being the villain. She can't be the villain no more, but she will check her sister or brother if it need be. So don't don't get it, don't get it twisted. Don't uh, be uh, slipping on her now. Because she ain't going to let you say nothing slick. And she, you don't think she got a comeback, a good comeback for you. But I thought I'd just give y'all that video. When I saw it, I was like, I was beaming it from ear to ear. Because I really want her to win. Just like I really want NeNe to win. I want Candy to win. But, you know, when they acting stupid out in, here, in these streets and stuff. Acting out of their character. Then there's a problem. There's a problem. <laughs> Excuse me. It's time for me to go to bed. But, yeah, honey, I love that long braid. I love those big old jumbo earrings. That dress is fitting her, honey. But I'll see y'all. Y'all have a very good night. And I will see y'all next video. Okay, okay, okay. No, I ain't gone yet. <laughs> you know I got to be missing. And I'm like, Ma, stop trying to get this woman's money, okay? Stop trying to get a paycheck off this woman. Okay, I don't understand why men can't do it. I mean, I understand men be saying, well, women do it to us all the time. We need our comeback. But y'all know that's the Hollywood life. Women going to win anyway because it's just how we finesse men. And you got some men that finesse women as well. But, you know, men are supposed to be the providers. Is that not right? They're supposed to be the protectors and the providers. And from what Kenya is saying, Mark failed in both areas. But it just is what it is. When you can't get along, you have to separate and do what it make it do by yourself. But Mark ain't it. Mark, Mark, Mark. Come on now. She paid your taxes for you. And I'm pretty sure she cut you a check for doing whatever it made you do when you were filming on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They ain't got you ain't got no bid. You got a restaurant. Why are you keeping her in shit's field? She wanna let it go. And she don't want all her business released to the public. She wants documents sealed. And quite frankly, um, that's not a bad idea. But you just keeping her in shit still. You won't let her move on. You, you got the whole total express train standing shit still. Messyville, Shadyville. And we can stay there all day long. Yes, we can make content all day long. But we don't want to because Ken says she's above that. She don't flew above that mess. She just want to be peace. She just want to be peaceful. She wants peace in her life. She wants serenity. She wants everything that's good and wholesome. And she wants to raise her daughter in that environment. And because they can't be together. Don't mean they can't raise their baby together. Meaning good co-parenting. And right now it just seems like the money is what's on Mark's mind. He said I got money on my mind. And my money. What is it? I got money on my mind. What do you think of Snoop Dogg be saying Shawson? I got my money on my mind and my mind on my money. Something like that. But it seems like he's an astute businessman when it comes to putting a plan together and executing it out. But I just don't understand how he keep getting in the red. I don't understand how he keep getting in the red. He think he's supposed to pull him out here and there, there and here. I mean, golly, you didn't want him. I mean, y'all definitely made a cute couple. Y'all definitely have the 
uh, pleasing on her eyes aesthetics. And then you had a baby girl that's very beautiful as well. And I heard she was probably trying to speak two languages now. So I'm like, okay, can you do her due diligence? She's making her baby girl ready for the world. Ready for the world to take it over and, and, and take over her business. I guess she's leaving a legacy for baby Brooklyn. And uh, maybe another child if she's thinking about that. But it's very hard for her to get that one child. So I don't know if it's in the plans. She may try to adopt if she gets with another guy who wants a family. Who knows? You know, Kenya got the money to do what she need to do. And she's going to stay in that black. That, you know, when we talk about uh, um, with stocks falling, this, that, and the third. And your revenue is in the red and the black. Where well, the red is negative. The black meaning you got it. <laughs> baby got back you got greenbacks okay so uh we wish can you well we hopefully she gets out of that marriage safe and soundly financially is what we're talking about and ma just go away somewhere and do something I, I don't know what it could be he could be doing other than running his restaurants or restaurant and doing something uh for humanity but he just need to leave Kenya's pocketbook alone. She ain't asking for no money. He shouldn't be asking for no money. Pretty much enough said. And I'm gone. Bye-bye.